Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. A couple videos ago, I was uh, doing some load testing in my 308, and I mentioned I had some things I was going to change on it. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at what changes I've made to this rifle, and uh, take a look at what I went from to what I went to, and discuss it a little bit. So let's jump off into that. All right, so last video with this rifle, when I was uh, getting my loads worked up. I'm just going to show you what I had and what I went to. I had this uh, Burris Trop Time 3x9x40 on some, uh, just, these are just aluminum um, cheap scope mounts that I had. And while this scope is inexpensive, it worked fairly well. Um, see right here? Made in the Philippines. <clears throat> What I got from my friends over at Brownells, they're running a sale on these, is the Leupold VX3 HD 3.5 by 10 by 40. And this scope does have the CDS dial. And what, I, what I'm gonna say about this scope is it's fantastic i have hunted with several scopes different brands growing up coming up and up until now this scope had been the most i'd ever spent on one this one was about 150 dollars worked fine for a few seasons but i never knew what i was missing out on with good quality glass and it, it really impressed me how clear this scope is. Um, at dusk and at re like right at daylight, the clarity is, I mean, it, it's mind blowing to me. That's all I can say. Going from something like the Burris, which worked and was fine, and what I thought was clear to something like this is a night and day difference. Um, my friend, Ian Bradley Johnson, uh, he works for Tally Rings, and he had been on me about upgrading my scope rings and mounts. And he was kind enough to um, send me these. This is the uh, Tally screw lock and the Tally mounts that matches it, goes with it. Uh, come to find out on the Marlin rifles, they use the Winchester Model 70 bases. And, uh, of course, this uh, set of matching rings... It's for a one inch tube. They are fantastic. They are blued steel. They are both steel. They're both blued. And quite honestly, going forward, any of my scopes or rifles that has a scope will get a set of tally bases and rings. I'm, I've been that impressed with them. But I'll give you an overall look at the scope. It's got your classic uh, gold band on it. It does have a throw lever. Of course, you can see right here, three and a half all the way up to 10 and it's like a quarter turn throw so when it's all the way up on 10 it doesn't it doesn't hinder or affect the bolt at all um the cds is interesting you can send them load data off your whatever you've got this on and got it sided to and they'll make you a custom dial but it um what it does is it's got up movement on it like say you wanted to shoot at distance and you knew how many minute angle you wanted to go uh, see like right there, if I can get that where y'all can see it, that's, you know, three minute angle, however much you just does, it goes all the way up to almost 13 and stops. But when you dial it back down, locks in place. And so far I sighted this in at a hundred yards, uh, with those 165 grain Hornady, uh, SSTs that I've been loading. And just for experiment, I twisted it up like that, twisted it back down to it locked and it was hitting exactly where it was when I sighted it. So I'm gonna do some more diving into that. I need to get a uh, chronograph so I can check the uh, feet per second on my loads. And then I'm gonna call Hornady, I mean, excuse me, I'm gonna call Leopold and I uh, give them the specs of the bullet, you know, the rifle and uh, see if they won't make me a custom dial once you get the custom dial, it's my understanding it's got marks on it. One or two, three, four, 
whatever. And what that corresponds with is the yardage you're gonna be shooting. You just turn it to that number and that's 300 yards, turn it to four, that's 400 yards and so forth. Um, the scope came with these rubber uh, lens covers, which is pretty interesting. I've never owned anything with a set of uh, rubber lens covers, but they work. I mean, they're stretchy. They're easy to get on and off. You know, I haven't really had any problem with them. Um, if you can, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it does say under there, uh, USA designed, machined, and assembled here in America. So I'll give y'all another little look on this side. It's got your uh, etched little pole logo there. And of course on this side, it's still, it's got the uh, the X3 high definition, three and a half, 10 by 40. Uh, like I said, Brownells was running a sale on these currently. Um, your, the typical code that we use that I give y'all will not work for Leupold. They don't, it, it won't work for them. It doesn't recognize it on certain brands and Leupold is one of them, but this thing was on sale. I mean, and it was, I don't know, hundred, a little over hundred dollars off, something like that. So I picked it up as an upgrade over this burst of this rifle. And I pretty well got this rifle just about where I always imagined it. Um, eventually I'll get up the courage to checker this thing myself and hopefully not mess it up but until then i mean right now it's about as close to perfect as i'm gonna i'm gonna worry about it i'm gonna hunt with it this season and I'll, i may do a video on um how well the ammo loads work out if i get to take a deer with one and we'll visit i'll visit uh field use of the scope then maybe um also check out this uh mat i got from otis when i went to the iraqi veteran 88 88 range day they was kind enough to give me this and uh, if you don't have one of these which I, this is the first one i've ever had it is a fantastic uh fantastic product so make sure you can you can probably find it over at brownells i haven't really checked but brownells carries a lot of uh, otis's products and if not i'm sure you can find it on their website so well, there you have it that's the uh, leopold vx 3HD. Well, if y'all get a chance to check those scopes out or if you've never used a little pole, um, I've been really impressed with it. Like I said earlier, uh, I never knew what I was missing out on, on good glass and good rings and bases for that matter. A uh, huge shout out to uh, Ian Bradley Johnson again for the rings and bases. Uh, shout out to Brown Ales. They're a huge supporter of mine and this channel and my Instagram. And they're just good quality folks to deal with, both of them. Um, go to Tally Manufacturing's website, check out what they got. I think Brownells carry some of their products, but if you really got something you're looking for or want it fit to it, uh, look up Ian Bradley Johnson on Instagram and give him a, a, a shout in the DMs, and he'll be glad to help you find what you need. He was kind enough when I told him I was going to put this scope. He's like, look, man, you need some good rings and bases. And I'm going to see what I can do to uh, to get you in a set. And he did. And I appreciate him very, very much. Uh, like I say, everything I got will be going to tally rings and bases for sure moving forward. Well, that's about all I've got for this video. I appreciate y'all. If this is the first time that you've uh, visited my channel, I'd ask you to like, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram on the same handle, uh, J underscore C underscore hunt. And you know come back and visit with me again i'm all the time going to be doing things on here and on instagram so just check me out at both places and uh, i'll catch y'all around next time thank you